Hello, my friends. Today we are talking about the top five best pieces in Uniqlo stores right now. But first, I need to make an announcement. Let me just say this. We have done it, guys. If you've been watching my channel for any amount of time, you know how much of a fan of Uniqlo I am. For over 10 years, I've been shopping at Uniqlo. I always loved the minimal aesthetic and the quality you could get for an affordable price. So every season, I would browse, see what's new, and there was always something that would catch my eye. To this day, there are still pieces in my wardrobe from Uniqlo that I've been wearing for years. Suffice to say, it's been one of my favorite brands for a long time now. And when I started making videos on YouTube, I would talk about Uniqlo often. Uniqlo, Uniqlo, Uniqlo. Uniqlo just dropped their U Spring Summer 2021 collection. I would make hauls season after season, talk about the infamous U Arism oversized t-shirt, and I made it one of my goals to one day be able to work with Uniqlo. It was my dream brand to work with. So I put it out there in the universe, wrote it on paper, talked about it in my videos. You know, I'm a big fan of Uniqlo. Hell, even my community, you guys, were so supportive that I got hundreds and hundreds of comments from you personally asking Uniqlo to sponsor me. It has been a long, arduous journey of unpaid work, but the time has finally come. Today is the day that I can finally say this video is sponsored by Uniqlo. Let me just say this sponsorship will not change anything in regard to the honesty of my videos. What I say will remain always 100% my own personal views, unfiltered and genuine. With that said, today we are going over the top five best Uniqlo pieces right now, in my opinion. First off, we have a remix version of my favorite t-shirt, the U Arism Oversized Tee. Let me present to you the U Arism Mock Neck Oversized T-shirt. Made with the same super soft, wrinkle resistant, breathable fabric, the Mock Neck version has a very similar relaxed fit with just a slightly shorter body and slightly longer sleeves. And of course, a Mock Neck instead of a Crew Neck. The Mock Neck gives it a neater, more modern and elevated look that I think can be styled very well on its own or layered underneath a jacket or coat during fall. I myself am definitely going to be rocking this black version and some all black looks over the next few months. The only issue is that it doesn't seem to be available on the US website at the moment, but luckily we did get it here in the UK. Next, we have this little gem I found among the dozens of pants available on the website, the pleated tapered fit trousers. I love the look of these trousers. Constructed with a wide but tapered cut and featuring front pleats as well as a center press crease, these trousers have a relaxed feel and an elegant drape. They are incredibly versatile with the ability to be dressed up or dressed down as you please and give a completely different feel depending on the other items that you pair them with. For example, paired with a sweater and sneakers, they make for a casual day look. But if you swap the sweater for an elegant shirt and the sneakers for black leather shoes, you get a more chic evening look. The pleated tapered fit trousers are the chameleon that I've been looking for for this fall winter. Number three, we have another mock neck, but this time in a chunkier sweater format. The most important thing for me when it comes to knitwear is for it to not be itchy because so many sweaters that I've tried feel itchy on my skin, but this one aced the test. It is lavishly soft with a relaxed fit, drop shoulders, and a mock neck that's at the right length to provide a bit of that much appreciated extra warmth without completely covering the neck like a turtleneck would. It comes in a variety of colors, but my favorites are the dark gray, light gray, and beige. I think this is a very versatile design that can be worn both casually and with elegant outfits. One thing to note, however, this is a re-release from a previous year, which I also have that version. And although nothing changed in the actual design, the sizing did change. And this new release sizes a lot smaller. So I've had to go up one size. This is the initial version in a size extra small, and this is the re-release in a size small. As you can see, they both fit very similar, although they're one full size apart. So I would recommend sizing up from your usual size for this one. My fourth favorite Uniqlo item right now is simply this single breasted coat. It is a very classic, timeless piece and Uniqlo does it right. The design is simple and straightforward. Five buttons, a collar that can be turned up to block the wind, and made from water repellent fabric to protect you from light rain. It has everything I look for in a Macintosh type raincoat. And for a hundred bucks, I'd say it's very reasonably priced. In terms of styling, it is a very versatile piece that you can style with practically anything underneath. You can wear it casually over a hoodie or some knitwear, or you can wear it more formal as a raincoat on top of a suit. 
number five, we have a wild card. I never would have expected to find this sort of cap in Uniqlo out of all places. This cap is made from 90% wool and 10% cashmere, and it feels so luxurious. If you told me that this cost $400 from Laura Piana or the Row, I would 100% believe you. This feels like something that Logan Roy in Succession would wear. Anyways, you probably know that I'm a big fan of baseball caps in general, but I love this one specifically for its fabric. It's not a material that you'd usually see used on caps, and it very much gives me that cozy fall-winter feel. I would style this with other warm, fuzzy fabrics such as heavy gauge wool sweaters or a wool hoodie. And that rounds out my top five pieces from Uniqlo right now. And the funny thing is, all of these are so versatile that you could probably wear all of them together and it would work. I know there wasn't anything from the new Uniqlo U collection, but unfortunately, Unfortunately, at the time of making of this video, that collection is not out yet. But I'll make a separate video for the Uniqlo U collection exclusively on TikTok at Tim the Saint. So make sure you go follow me there if you haven't already. Hope you enjoyed the video, guys. Thank you so much for watching, for commenting, and just for your support in general over the years that I've been creating videos. I am so grateful to have such an amazing community that's given me that opportunity to get to work with brands like Uniqlo. So to you watching right now, I say, Thank you, and I will see you in the next video.